Kiana gives half of her 24 grapes to a friend. How many grapes did she give? Well, 24 divided by 2 is half, and that would be 12. So, number 1, the answer is D. Based on the graph shown, which day of the week had the highest temperature? This question is basically asking you to interpret this graph. So this part is the temperature, and this part, of course, is the days of the week, as they have labeled. And the highest temperature looks like that day, and that corresponds to Friday. So number two, the answer would be C. At a local farm, strawberries are sold at $16.50 for each basket. What is the total cost to buy four? baskets so we do four times that 1650 and that comes out to 66 dollars so that's going to be for number three b the temperature last night was minus five it is now three degrees celsius how many degrees warmer is it now so i guess you just go on the number line so let's start at minus five and then zero and then we have plus three approximately there so they're basically saying when you go from here to there uh, how much did you increase by so if you went from minus five to three if you count the positive distance right that'd be eight so eight degrees warmer when you go from minus five to positive three and that therefore would mean a for number four Sarah multiplied an integer by itself. Which of the following could be the result? So if you take any integer and then multiply it by itself, they're saying, what could it be? So basically, that's n squared. So the result has to be a perfect square. So it's basically like me asking you which one of these numbers is a perfect square. And I think you guys can figure that out. It would be this one right here, because that's 6 squared. And therefore, number 5 is e. In the figure shown, PQRS has three sides of equal length and SR is 16. If the perimeter of PQRS is 40, what is the length of PQ? Okay, so I will let these guys be X since they're all equal. That's what this symbol means. And that's, of course, 16. So the total perimeter is 3X plus 16, right? And they told me that the perimeter is 40. So that's my equation. And then I'll solve for X. 3X would be 24, and therefore X is 8. And they're asking me, what is the length of PQ? Well, PQ I have designated as X, and that's 8. So, number 6, the answer would be C. Which of the following is equal to a whole number? So, whole number is, of course, an integer. Uh, and if you do all these, most of them will give you a, ne uh, a decimal. Um, so, for example, this one, I believe, is 10.4, if I did that properly. And similarly, there are going to be mostly decimals. You want an actual whole number, an integer, a positive integer. And the only one that gives a positive integer for, for these five choices is this guy right here. Because 52 over 4 is equal to 13. So, number 7, the answer is C. A circle of radius 4. Uh, a line segment joins two points on the circle. What is the greatest possible length of the line segment? Okay, so let's draw a circle here. And then here, this is the center, and this is the radius. And they're saying that's 4. And then you want to draw lines that, uh, you know, join two segments. Well, the biggest line you can join is actually the diameter. Right? The diameter would be the line that has the the greatest possible length and the diameter as we all know is equal to two times the radius and the radius in this case is four so therefore two times the radius would be eight and that's the greatest line you can uh, draw and therefore number eight would be eight an integer is randomly chosen from this list what is the probability that the chosen integer is even okay so probability, first of all, what goes in the denominator is how many uh, total choices. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 goes in the denominator. 
Now, the numerator is the specific condition, and in our case, our specific condition is that a number has to be even. So let's count how many evens. We have one, two, three, four, five. So five over 10 is the answer, and that corresponds to C. The grocery receipt shows the cost of three items before tax is added. When a 5% tax is added to the cost of the items, what is the total cost? Okay, so first let's add up this. $4.20 plus seven sixty plus plus three twenty totals $15. And then we have to add that 5% tax. So we have to add 15 plus uh, 5%. So 15 plus 5% 5 of 15, I believe, is 75 cents. So therefore, this will be 15.75. And number 10, therefore, would be D.